Hey guys, hope all is well. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a video that I haven't done before, but I thought it would be super fun. The last video that I posted was of my outfit of the day. I was at an event and I wanted to show you guys what I was wearing. And so in this video, I want to show you how I came up with that look. Because there is a specific path that I follow in order to get a certain look. Not always, but in this case it was. For this event, I was very focused on one particular item, which was the skirt. And I looked for items around that to complement it and to pull the look together. I had a very clear vision of how I wanted to look that day. And I just wanted to share my thought process and my steps with you guys and then also the items individually so you can get a better look at them. And yeah, maybe this can help you if you have an event coming up or, you know, Thanksgiving, you know, the holiday season is coming up. If you guys like this video, just please let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see any other type of 411 styling videos. I did do them way back in the beginning of my channel, like how I style certain pieces, and then I just didn't do them anymore. So now I'm back, but this is a different type of 411. But at this point, I'm just very eager to show you the items. So let's just go straight into the video. Now when I talk about going in a specific path to get the look that I want, it sounds like, you know, there's a lot of thought process and stuff. So for this event, I wanted to look just very classy and effortless. I was going for a very effortless look. I think the dress code was business casual. So I based my outfit around something that I already had, which was this skirt. This skirt is from H&M. I bought it, let's see, I've been living here for two years, so that means this must be oh, like five years, five or six years old, I don't know. So uh, you're definitely not going to find this anymore um, in H&M is what I'm trying to say. This skirt is a size 10, which was a little bit trickier for me because I was a size 10 then. I'm not a size 10 anymore. Um, I'm a size 4 now. So it was a little bit tricky, but because of the fact that it has a zipper in the back and then also a button to just like tighten it up and it sits on the waist. So it's not something on your hips and therefore it's, you know, really like it can go all over the place. It sits right here so right under my bust over my belly button and it was kind of loose it did go a little bit down and stuff but it's nothing that was super noticeable i wanted to wear this skirt because again i could have bought something else but i wanted to wear this specific skirt because of the fact that first of all it was black so it could go with anything that I find later because the other items I did buy. It's not a belt at the front but it's a nice little detail at the front. It's almost like a knot. So I did want to put like a belt over it but I thought you know why do that because if there's already a knot it will lay over that and it's not going to look cute. What I like about this skirt is that it's loose. It's not a super tight you know bodycon type of skirt is something that I wanted to avoid for this event because I knew it was going to be a dinner and if I'm eating I rather not wear anything bodycon because I do bloat and it doesn't look cute you know you don't want to be super like sucked in and all that and then you eat a little bit and you drink some water and you stand up and you, you look like you're six months pregnant because I my bloating is like out of control for whatever reason. Anyways, and then 
also this skirt had like a slip under it had why am I speaking past tense the skirt has a slip under it so it's not see-through and when you walk it just has a nice you know like flow to it it's not a structured a line so it doesn't go all out it just it comes like super like nice around your hips and around your legs but it's not tight it won't cinch you in so I wanted to base my entire look off of that so for a top I knew I was going for something super fitted because that I could deal with being super tight because it was something that would go into the skirt so if it does blow you won't notice it because it has again that bow in the front which covers everything up there then I knew I wanted something with long sleeves because I was going to New York also it's something that looks really nice on me because I have very skinny arms um, I got that from my mama it fits super nice and it just looks super nice I have long arms I'm six foot my mom is six foot one I think my dad is six six so we're tall people and naturally my arms are super long so I like to accentuate that because this is something that I really love about my body then I knew I wanted something a little bit higher just because I didn't feel like showing cleavage um, again it's cold so the top that I found was also an H&M. This is something that I really found out of the blue. We went to the sales section. I'm telling you guys, the H&M sales section, it has hidden treasures. This is a size 2. As I said, the skirt is a 10. This is a 2. Don't get focused on the labels. If it looks cute on you, it looks cute. Go with it as long as you're comfortable. It looks cute. Rock it. I put this on, this color looks absolutely beautiful on me because it's a very warm burgundy and like a, a rusty color. And the sleeves, I tell you, the sleeves are super long. They come exactly to the end of my arm and I can pull it up, which is something that I really look for. I don't find that often just because I have long arms, so not everything is going to fit my length of arm. This did a super nice color, a super nice fit exactly what I looked for. The best part is this was originally like more than $25. I found it in sale for $15, which for a t-shirt I was like, Wah. you know, I was just being cheap that day to be honest. But it's still kind of like not what I want to spend. But it had everything. It had a higher neck, the super tight arms, it's all form fitting. It can go into the skirt. It's long enough. It's not cropped because if you have something cropped, it's not really going to place nicely into something. It's going to flop over like this is doing right now. So it had all of those perks. I go to the register. The girl rings me up. You know what she says? She says, that's 5.30, please. I said, what? I said, I like you. Yes, girl. So the shoes that I had and that I was looking at were booties. This one and this one. This one is from Target from Mosino. What is that designer that works with Target? And these are heels from Patricia Pepe. Now, what I decided was that I wasn't going to bring these to New York because of the fact that these are black booties. They're super cute. They would look super cute under the outfit that I'm wearing right now. A crop top, this sweater vest type of deal, and then black high-waisted skinny jeans. Under a skirt, it does chop your leg off. It didn't have a nice flow to it, so I didn't like it. Now, the day before I left to New York, I bought these, which is from H&M was also in the sale 10 or $15. I was thinking a sandal always looks cute. It shows a lot of foot so it'll go in one straight line you know from your foot up. Which she did and on the day itself I was contemplating whether to wear these heels or these heels. So I texted my cousin and she said go with the nude. She was right, so I listened. First of all, thank God, because these are way more comfortable than these. She felt the nude were better because of the fact that it kind of looked like booty, so it was appropriate because it is fall, it is colder over there in New York. So it was logic. This looks a little bit more like summer. And then also, just because of the fact that this is a nude color, it's not a black, it's not a red, it's not a white. The skin tone type of color it blends in with your skin and again goes for that very long elongating leg look and pulls your outfit together beautifully then i did wear these earrings 
Now, I wanted to show you guys that you can wear these earrings two ways. You can either wear it a little bit lower so that you have the diamante showing under your ear, or you can wear them like this, a little bit higher so you just have that gold part and just a little touch right here of diamante showing. I wore it like this, and I wore my hair super sleek. I brushed it all out and I wore it behind my ears, super sleek, super tight. It was either going to be like that or a long ponytail, but I wanted to wear it loose so I can put it to one side if I wanted to. So that sleek look just pulled together the entire outfit. Oh, and my bag, I was wearing my new Tommy Hilfiger handbag. I think it's a tote. If I find the link, I will link it down below in the description box. My dad gave it to me for an early birthday gift. Thank you, Daddy. So yeah, that was it for this video. And again, if you would like to see any other videos like this one, just let me know in the comments down below. It really helps a lot. And thank you so much for watching this video. And until next time, bye. Mwah.